Hi guys, so had an issue with this headlight. The problem was uh, basically it was coming on and it would turn off automatically, you know, just one of them. The other one was working perfectly fine. So when I started troubleshooting, what is wrong with it? Um, you know, why it keeps turning on and off. So I opened the hood, kind of moved the wires. And as soon as I was, I would move the wire, um, you know, it would come on. Uh, but if you would go over bumps or something, it would turn off. So it was kind of like an intermittent problem, you know, um, and I was kind of scratching my head like, you know, what is going on? Um, thought maybe something is wrong with the wiring harness that goes, you know, all the way to the computer and stuff like that. So I didn't want to mess around with that. Um, so I decided to take it apart. So anyways, um, the easy access wasn't really from inside the hood because if you look inside the hood, it's uh, very much blocked, you know, so it's very hard for you to get in there. So the best way to get in was to take this wheel well off a bunch of screws probably like 10 screws you know I had to remove uh, to get to it and uh, finally came right behind here removed the connector and uh, the headlight connector and guess what I found look at this middle one and it's burnt and um, what had what happens is basically this is as you can see um, you know rated for low amp because you can tell by the wire size and the connector so it's not really meant for high voltage connector and uh, the bulb that I had in there was let me show you guys it was a custom bulb which takes a lot more amps than the rated factory bulb so that's another thing um, you know if you're replacing with these bulbs make sure you upgrade your wiring harness luckily no damage was done inside as you can see the middle one um, you know looks pretty pretty okay um, so luckily it was just the connector because it was heating up uh, it seems like there was a hot spot in there and kind of melted the connector so it had a loose connection so anytime it would go over the bump it would move and turn off you know and then when you move move it again you know it would come back on so um, let's get back to the truck and I'm just gonna show you what I end up doing so I bought this uh, universal uh, kit you know which has same connector right here you can see exact same one but you can tell it's a lot beefier so if you look at this one and if you look at this one this is a lot more beefier connection than this one so it's rated for higher amps so next time it's not gonna blow uh, or burn like this and you can also notice there are thicker thicker wires so anyways uh, this is Dorman you can pick it up from any auto parts store I got mine from uh, I think it was uh, AutoZone. It says the headlight, so headlight socket for 9004, 9007. Now you may have a different type of bulb. So depending on what you have, get that. So now the tricky part is how do we connect it, right? So what I did was I kind of clip these endpoints right there. Just cut it, you know, very close, as close as possible because you want a lot of wire. And uh, there is normally a jacket on it. You can peel the jacket off and then I connect it like this. So these are splice connectors. This is what it is, AWG1614. So the way you put them on is kind of twist the two wires together, slide it on and heat it. And there's a metal piece in here which melts on top of the copper. It gives it a nice solid connection and then it seals it. So you won't have any moisture issues or anything like that. Did all three connector and now we're ready to put that light back on. That's it. Once you do this, your problem should be solved. So make sure you put the jacket back on. And uh, that's it. Guys, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.